jacked up and good to go. And we immediately just start sauntering the slowest possible pace that we can take. So it's uh it looks like we're not gonna be able to take um Red 13 is a party member. Anyway, we got in get terms to the of the roof, combat, right? which is fine. He got introduced and really late into the game, so I'm uh, not too surprised. But um, it gives us something to look forward to when we uh, eventually get part two, like seven years from now. Yeah, we'll take a, we'll pop a squat real quick too. Um, Wedge tried to fake out the destinies, or the, the, the whispers, so now they're gonna be mad. I can totally picture the, the whispers being like, hey, wait a minute, what the fuck? And then they like come back and they like try to push Wedge down like a well until he, and so he's like, oh no, tell Jesse I, I loved her mom's cooking. I don't care who you are, that's the best wedge joke you're ever gonna hear. Okay, uh, anything in this area? Nope. 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 It's the elevator from earlier. This is where Barrett was like, keep walking or I'll shoot ya. I mean, or I don't shoot ya. Whatever means you open up the door and then I get to shoot ya later. Huh. That elevator, was it this way? Nope. Yes, his odor still lingers. Uh. Oh, jeez, where is it? That's fine. That's fine. I'm looking for something specific, but I don't think I'm going to be able to find it here. Okay, well, that's... I think this is where we kept the, uh, the, the, the boss that I fought. Okay, I think that there's probably just some cutscenes coming up now. Wait, 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 wait. The wait. little ones in the pods. Where did they go? That stinks in here. <laughs> Red 13's That's one punch man. That's Saitama! That is absolutely Saitama. Uh-oh. I remember this guy. He remembers us. Oh, he's got all of his putties together. So go give him one already. Way ahead. Cool. Okay, these guys, they're weak against ice magic. Um, Tifa gonna go ahead and use, oh shit, they're gonna immediately hit us all with a bunch of thunder magic, aren't they? Okay, that's a problem. Uh, Tifa, use that old unbridled strength real quick. And we need to start giving a couple of little punchy dues here. Uh, uh, what am I doing? So it's my turn? We have Aerith in our party again. I need to be uh, playing as Aerith again. Oh my god. Oh, I missed her so much. Okay, Aerith, use that Ray of Judgment. That's so cool. That's so cool. She's such a badass. I had missed that voice actress too. She did so good. She did such a beautiful job with this uh, game. Um, okay, Tifa, Eric's about to get her ass kicked. So why don't you go ahead and help uh, help a gal a gal pal out there? Uh, and Eric, it's time to use another anime death laser beam. Cool. It's Saitama. It is. It is. It's Saitama. Nice job. What? Oh. Shit! What the hell, Red? I'm not a rat dog. Why is Red being such a dick in the remake? 
I remember him being a lot more level-headed and chill. Though I do like the fact that they are making him, like, like, take no shit from nobody. Not even Barrett, who's, like, the Captain Planet of shit. Oh my god, Barrett's Captain Planet. Heart. Muscle. Gun. By your powers combined, I'm gonna kick Shinra ass. This area has so many benches. This is like a startup with just like weird ass novelty furniture every 10 feet in this game. Take a benchy. Go to that vendy machine eat. I wonder how the pathfinding AI is gonna work when we have uh, this many people. Geometric bracelets. That looks pretty crappy. That has no stats at all. It has four materia slots, but it's really expensive and has horrible, horrible defensive stats. That is an awful piece of equipment. All that to just get one extra materia slot. Get not really accounted for the fact that I seem to have like way, 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 way more materia than I could ever actually use at this point. Yeah. Okay, Aerith, did you go ahead and master the Mithril Rod yet? Nope, she did not. How am I doing on getting some of this battle intel taken care of? Let's check real quick. So it's mostly things that Aerith has equipped. Um, boy, it's going to be real close on some of these. That time materia is halfway there. Subversion is only three-fourths. Binding, I'm not too worried about binding, but it's time and subversion that I really don't think I'm going to be able to get um, mastered by the time the game is over. And Cloud on Revival, oh, we're not going to get that. That's that's just, we're not getting the battle intel done. Not unless there's a lot of fighting ahead of me. There very well could be, but it would have to be a ton of fighting. It's like, welcome to Shinra Defense Force number 45. It's the cloud. I found another Colosseum for you to do. Let's go. Isn't that crazy? Oh. Oh, that's that's a Sephiroth. That's a Sephi. Hojo's treasure, Shinra's dark secret. What I wouldn't give to burn it all down. But we need to get to the roof. That's Saitama. That's absolutely Saitama. It was really hard for me to tell, but all of a sudden it was like, wait a minute, I think I hear a very familiar voice in there. looks so cool. I love the inclusion of the red lights. It gives it such a crazy little, like, secret facility, like, mine, or, like, or airport, or so something about it feels militaristic. That's what it is. It looks like... What is that sound? I hear, like, this snapping noise in the background. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this. What is that? Genova. Mother. 
together we will reclaim our world. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this. Cloud? Oh, Tifa can see it too, I think. Oh, they all can, because he's there. That would explain it. Tell me, is it really you? Yeah, that's a heart attack right there. Don't deny me. Embrace me. Phantom. A touching reunion. <laughs> The hypothesis proven correct. I can only hope you will continue not to disappoint. <laughs> oh, you can hear the Genova theme. Wow, that was a lot of destruction. That was way more than one little sword slash. Okay, well, um, Tifa and Aerith are out of the party again. This is cr- Oh, the pods. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm, I'm so curious about where they go with this segment. Because I feel like they're going to... I can use these. Uh, I feel like they're going to just... Um, oh, wow. You have to skip across them, too. I feel like this is going to be a huge amount of exposition um, that normally comes way later in the game, but I think they're going to just start like putting it in now to drive things towards a conclusion. Oh, nuts. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, this is crazy. And they're all pointed inwards. Why are these ones pointed inwards? And these will... These ones are pointed the other direction. It's weird. If you're wondering why I'm freaking out about these things, these are all like what happened. These are all like basically the parents of uh, like turrets in Portal 2. You know, you can see them. They're little, they're little, uh, you can see the likeness, right? Like, you know, you get like a weird pod thing and you get a mommy weird pod thing and then uh, you have a little baby turrety. <laughs> Nothing to it. Actually, this looks almost eerily similar to the end of Portal 2 if a meteor hit it. Man, this looked expensive. There's a bunch of nice shit in here that... Uh, I got destroyed by Sephiroth. Hope they had insurance. But then they also probably had, like, Shinra, Shinsurance, or something like that. So it doesn't even... It's probably not even good. <clears throat> this game just barfs poison material on you. I think that I have more poison material than I have of basically any other kind. I'm assuming that these enemies are going to be weak to poison soon. Need a hand? Thanks.
Oh, he fights alongside you, but he can't control him. That's amazing. Alrighty. Let's sit back and watch Red 13 in action. I want to see that animation. Ow. Do it, do it, do it. Come on, man. Ow, I can't fucking see it if there's too many particles. That's what he does. He runs at the enemy and he does like a little front flip because he's so cool. That's... Oh, jeez. He's... He's here. He's back, baby. I love him. I love him so much. I don't even remember what I love about Red 13. I just remember that I thought he was an amazing character. So I'm looking forward to, like, rediscovering what it is I liked about that character so much as we play through this. Yeah. Where are the others? Nowhere close. Let's go. How come he's not friends with Barrett though? He looks up at you with this little puppy dog face. Oh, he's the greatest. Can you pet Red 13? That's the real question. Can you pet Red 13? Is this going to be a game where you can't pet the dog? Because if so, this basically doesn't count as a game at all at that point. I guess he's not a dog, though. Is this, is this a game where you can't pet the rat? Hmm. Okay, not going to be able to go into that thing, apparently. Alright, so we'll go up. And then around over. Oh, it was just a really weird map topology over a really weird ground topology. What is it? Okay, Red 13's leaping action. Uh, you can traverse by leaping. If you're unable to reach a control panel, ask Red 13 for help. If we flip that switch, we can get to the other side. Hmm. I may be able to do that. So they're not going to give him, uh, like, any combat, but they can make him, like, sure? yes. be able to do, like, all these puzzle mechanics and stuff like that. That's a fair trade, considering he came into the game really late. Off I go. Wow, he looked really, really graceful while doing that. He made his movements. He seems so light. Oh, jeez. What a badass. Will this do the trick? Yeah, dude. Yeah, it will. Who's a good rat dog? God, he's cool. If you were gonna ship anyone with Aerith, then it would be Red 13. Let's uh, rest up at the bench. I suppose I could probably spoil that. Um, because it seems like they decided to not include that in the game. So, originally, um, they kind of hinted at, the, the, at this plot point, but originally Hojo, uh, attempted to crossbreed Aerith with Red 13. And, uh, it also was set up the same way where you thought you had to fight Red 13 in the original game. But then Red 13 was like, was like, my apologies, I was putting on a show. And he does that, like, what right after basically killing Nojo. Need a hand? Nice. Uh, so yeah, that, um... It looks like they, they removed that from the, uh, from the plot line. Which is probably for the best, because that would have been a little bit super creepy. Uh, okay, yeah, they're all weak against uh, air magic, but they're also very, very easy to kill, so I'm just not going to even bother with it too much. So, I think, remember I was saying that this game uh, would need to throw a lot of, like, air, uh, uh, would need to throw a lot of combat at me? We might actually be getting that. Okay, he's pressured. Yeah, I feel like uh, we're now basically in the final drive up of combat until the end of the game. So let's hope that I get enough AP to level up everything because I may end up being in some real hot water soon. Uh, or alternatively, I'm just not able to level up that final battle intel, which means that I, uh, well, I have no idea what will end up happening. Um, maybe this game is a new game plus. 
I'm I'm hoping that it does. If I were to want to uh, get the okay, this is seriously starting to piss me off. Uh, okay, switching over to Barrett. Use your overcharge. There we go. Jeez. Okay, a bunch of unknown entities. Uh, okay, Barrett, I'm gonna just play with you for a little while. No, oh, no. These things will um, put a stop to that real quick. Uh, Barrett, use your maximum fury, maybe. Just go over to Cloud. Okay, he's dead. Oh, I think I just had a seizure, like, watching those particle effects, though. That was... Uh, I apologize to everyone, but that was awful. Okay, moth units. These, I don't know what they are. We will assess them. They are most assuredly weak against lightning. They are weak against lightning and air. We will do that. Abilities, spells, uh, Ererga. Okay. Yeah, that was not super powerful. Okay, Barrett, I'm going to rely on you for this fight, apparently, because this guy has, uh, he's made of, uh, laser, razor blades. Which would make sense, uh, for a game for, I mean, eventually they had to, like, come up with a good design like this. Uh, and by they, I mean Shinra, because a lot of their enemy designs are really stupid. Okay, Cloud, um, how am I supposed to do this? I guess I'm just gonna have to use Barret, who, I took away all of Barret's materia, so I have no idea. Yeah, Barret doesn't even have any spells. So, I kinda screwed up there. Well, um... I guess we're gonna have to rely on a lot of Maximum Fury and a lot of, uh, waiting for, uh, Cloud to get his ATB bar up. Okay, so throw an Aurora. There we go. Easy enough. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. If you say so. Guess we're out. What's the plan? First, we find Tifa and Aerith. Then we head for the roof. Should be an elevator somewhere. Didn't expect any of this, but we just gotta roll with it. Come on, let's go. You mean you didn't have a plan D or a plan A or a plan G or whatever? <laughs> what happened to the parrot I knew?